All right, we're gonna go over a little cooler review. I just got these in the mail. This is an Ozark Trail 52 quart high performance cooler on the right, and an Ozark Trail 73 quart high performance cooler on the left. You can kind of see a little bit of size difference, obviously, with the bigger cooler. Go over a few of the features that they share. So the 52 quart claims seven day ice retention, and the 73 quart claims nine day ice retention. They both share in a small drain and an oversized drain. They have four drink holders on the top you can see, anti-skid feet on the bottom, both have a five-year warranty, both have a fish ruler on the lid, and they're both certified bear resistant. So they're similar to a Yeti with the rope handles here. And you can see that drain I was talking about. You have the big drain here, and then the smaller drain if you just need to drain off a little water. If you don't need it to come out as fast. On the outside we got those the rubber handles right here. It latch down like that to keep it shut. And lastly, if, you, if you're into locking your cooler, you have a lock here that you can uh, put there, and both of those have those features. So inside, they have a nice gasket on the lid. Feels like rubber. The 52 quart has a basket in it as well. That's a nice feature to keep stuff out of the ice. The 73 has the same thing. So they're pretty similar coolers other than the size, obviously. There's the dimensions for the 73, you can see on the bottom left. And for the 52 right there on the bottom left. So I'm gonna put these up in an ice, ice test with the Cabela's. The Cabela's Polar Cap, which the one I have is a 60 quart cooler. And if you look at my other videos, I did an ice test with that one against a Yeti and the Cabela's beat the Yeti by over two days. It held ice for seven days versus the Yeti held it for five days. So it should be a good test for them. I won't have the Yeti this test around but you can just kind of compare how they do against the Cabela's with how they did against the Yeti. So I should be starting that test tomorrow. I'm gonna get 40 pounds of ice, dump it in, open them three times a day, kind of simulate real world usage and uh, see how they do. I'll also be putting a Coleman Extreme 70 quart in that test, so that'll be a good baseline to kind of compare these more expensive coolers versus the uh, cheaper ones. Paid on the left for that Ozark Trail, it was 190 something, 195, something like that. And on the right, it was a uh, 147 for the uh, 52 quart. So uh, anyway, stay tuned. Should have that other ice test video coming up very soon. And uh, we'll see how they stack up against the competition.